Hey, this is John Cena, and you are watching this WWE Fan 13. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. So, as you guys see down below, today is another collab. Now, if you guys have not checked out my past collabs, I have collabed with X3 with one of my best friends named Wyatt. And today, I'm collabing with an up-and-coming YouTuber named Wise Guy. So, in the description box down below, it will be his link to his YouTube channel and his ads for his social media. Now, today's video, we're going to be doing, um, I guess, things that WWE needs to change. Now, I'm going to give three things that WWE needs to change, and he's going to give three things that WWE needs to change. So, before I start this, I want to say, Wise Guy, thank you for coming on my channel. And with that being said, I'm going to send it over to Wise Guy. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Wise Guy, and you're probably going to see me around more often doing collabs. And as you guys can see, I'm on the channel of Miss WWE Fan 13. She's just really amazing, and she asked me to do a collab with her. We're going to be doing a video, as you guys can see by the title, Things That WWE Needs to Change. And I think this is really, um, really good idea. Credit to Wyatt, actually. He gave us this idea. And I have to say, if you ask me, there's a lot of things wrong with WWE. And I came up with a list. I think we're going to do three each. So I'm going to do um, three, and then this WWE fan's going to do three. Kayla. So I think um, let's just get things started. So the first thing on my list that I think WWE needs to change is cut down the tag team matches. So... As you guys can see, every single week, like every week, it's every week, majority of the card is tag team matches. I remember back then when tag team matches used to be special, when someone certain was running things, which is Theodore Long. So he's known for making the tag team matches, but he's not really there anymore. And just because he's not there doesn't mean we need to see a tag team match anyways. So... I think if they cut down the tag team matches, that'd be good. Because I remember a long time ago when tag team matches would be special. But now, it's like, they don't know what to do with their roster. So they're going to put, like, two people together. They're going to pair two people. And now, actually, if you think about it, a lot of the tag teams were just two superstars who were singles competitors for a long time. Like The Bar, for instance. They were singles competitors forever. Now they're a team, but they're actually a successful team. You got Slater and Rhino, who are over on Raw now. They were successful when they were the first ever SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, but now it's just like, what are you guys doing with them? Then you have Apollo and Titus, which Titus is big right now because of you know, the whole Titus slipping, falling thing. But then when that dies out, what are they gonna do with Titus and Apollo? I mean, they're gonna follow No Way Jose. So things aren't really working out for the tag division right now. I see too many tag teams, too many tag team matches, and I think if they can nip it down a little bit and just like notch the tag team matches down the whole tag division they need to fix it i think as a whole right now because it's not doing good so they kind of just get things back in order and i think that's what they need to do for that all right so the next thing that WWE really needs to change in my opinion are the nxt call-ups now i'm actually going to do a video on my channel with kayla so she's going to collab on my channel too and i'm sure she's going to hook me up and put me in the description so you guys can come over to my channel and get ready to watch this but I'm doing a video of the 10 NXT superstars who fail on the main roster. There's just way too many people on the roster, which actually is going to bring me to my next one. So the NXT call-ups are just too much. Like, they're cool, they're hype, but then what happens three months after? So we got No Way Jose. He just got called up from NXT, obviously, after the whole shake-up thing. He's hot right now, the whole conga line, which whenever they interrupt Elias, it's just not my thing. But... They're pretty entertaining. I love what they're doing right now with them. Like, they have them just come out and just entertain the crowd. But, same thing with Adam Rose. What happened to him? Never won a title. Ended up getting released. So, I mean, things don't really work out. He's just an example. You got Ty Dillinger, who got called up. Height 10, 10, 10. Where's he at? Doing matches on the pre-show of SmackDown. I just don't like what they're doing with the NXT call-ups. They need to, like, kind of take things slow. Bobby Roode. He had a U.S. championship run, but was it really hype? Not really. Not as hype as he was when he was in NXT. So they really should just watch the NXT call-ups, watch who they're bringing up, keep some people down in developmental for a little bit. Because I think if they kept um, Apollo Crews down there, Apollo Crews, he's been on the main roster for quite a while now, and he hasn't done much. He hasn't even won a title. So, I mean, if they could put the straps on Titus Worldwide, that'd be good. But I say some NXT superstars need to just stay. And they need to watch what they're doing with their NXT call-ups. Which now brings me to my next one. So this one is really, really big. This plays a huge role on this list for me. Balance their roster. Ty Dillinger, these are some NXT superstars that shouldn't have really gotten called up when they got called up. 
Now they're at the bottom of the roster. They're like the jobbers, which I really don't like saying because these are some really, really ta good, talented wrestlers. And they're just not doing anything because there's nothing for them. And that's when WWE has to make two random people a team and they end up failing, which is even worse. So I say the NXT um, roster could have a, hold a little more people and they need to balance the roster for Raw and SmackDown because you got guys like Mike Kanellis, Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins, who's just had a horrible losing streak. Um, just a whole bunch of people that we could be seeing on Mondays and Tuesdays who we can't because there's like a huge roster that they're not even using. So I mean, what they really need to do is balance their roster, balance Raw and SmackDown, and NXT. NXT can hold a lot of people because NXT has a lot of people, I think, right? If my knowledge serves me correct, it's like a huge roster from NXT. They have a lot of local competitors who come in. So I feel like one person they really should have kept a little bit longer, it's just my opinion, is Ty Dillinger. I think Ty Dillinger could have had a better time in NXT. And there's just a whole bunch. Like I said, I'm doing this video on my channel with Kayla. We're going to collab and we're going to do the 10 NXT superstars who failed. So, I mean, that's going to be on there. So stay tuned for that. And that is my list for things that WWE need to change. Once again, I thank Miss WWE fan Kayla for letting me on her channel. This is really cool. Like I said, she's inspired me to do YouTube if it wasn't for her. Probably wouldn't even want to do YouTube because just everything she does is amazing. And it just makes me want to keep going on YouTube. And I thank you, Kayla. And um, yeah, so I thank you guys for all watching. And um, I'm going to leave it to Kayla. So yeah, guys, uh, those were Wise Guy's um, three things that he thinks WWE needs to change. And I totally agree with him on that. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get started on mine. And so let's get started. So number one is that WWE needs to like focus on building up their stories. You know, like in the past, um, you know, during the ruthless regression era, the attitude era, they actually had good story buildup. But now it's like random matches happen for no absolutely no reason. Example: upcoming match uh, for the next pay per view. Nia Jax, for, Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey. Where did that come from? Absolutely out of thin air. You know, it's going to be a good match probably because, you know, Ronda Rousey and Nia Jax, you know, it's going to be good. But there's no story behind it. We need stories built up like how Orton and Cena had all their build-ups and like they had a whole history together. You know, we need just stories built up. How like they had the shield and evolution story. Like we need just WWE needs to focus on building up their stories better. Because the matches are good. All we're missing is the stories. Cause you know, obviously, um the point of wrestling is to get into the match, to get like emotionally evolved involved in the match. Like if you just have a random match like Nia and R Ronda with absolutely no build up, you know the match might be good but you have like no emotional attachment to it because there was never any story like you can't like you know you guys get what I mean so that is definitely my top like thing that I think WWE needs to change the next one is something that's been needing to happen for a very long time is they need to bring back the custom um, pay-per-view stages you know the only time we ever get a special pay-per-view stage is at Wrestlemania I think or maybe the Royal Rumble everything else is just basic Monday Night Raw Smackdown entrance like I remember in the past like when it was TLC they would have all the like I remember one time they had chairs just floating from the ceiling and then like example like or like Smackdown and Raw need to have their own separate custom stage like before, before Smackdown had that fist coming out of the entrance and then Raw had um had like the big um Titan Trons and stuff you know which Raw stage I'm talking about like, you know, and before pay-per-views used to get their own stage, like, I remember there was, I think, uh, I think, what was it, an Armageddon, um, stage, where it was just huge, and it, it looked like you were, like, in the desert, pretty much, and it was just cool, and, you know, that would bring a lot of feel to the pay-per-view, because nothing's cooler when you walk into the pay-per-view for the people in live attendance, even the people watching at home, but when you walk into the pay-per-view, and you, when you first leave the back where the concessions are, and you walk in, and you just see the stage, like that is the coolest thing that's why i love wrestlemania so much because you don't know what the stage looks like until you walk in and then you just see the stage and you're just like you're in awe because you're like oh shoot like example orlando with the roller coaster me and vince walked in and we we're like oh shoot like look at the roller coaster look at that look at that or like example when they did it in new york and they had the statue of liberty and they had all that cool stuff like where is that beside wrestlemania and um it just needs to happen again maybe not so gigantic like wrestlemania but just put a little more like thought into your stages not just your basic raw and smackdown stage 
So that is number two. And the last one is something I've been begging for for years is for them to do a more variety of matches. Like, you know, all we ever get is either a normal match, a no DQ match, a steel cage match, a hell in a cell match, and you know, the basic stuff, the ladder match when it's like a paper, when it's like money in the bank. But like, we never get casket matches. We never get inferno matches. I think that's what they were called. We never get like street fights anymore. We never get anything like that. And so it's like, why? You know, it sucks because, you know, it was cool that the Greatest Royal Rumble got the casket match, but it's like, why did they get the casket match and we can never get anything, you know? Like in a normal pay-per-view, why can't, like when Undertaker's so why can't we get a casket match? Or like when, I don't even know, like why can't we get better matches? Like, I'm not saying every pay-per-view needs to have a casket match or a no DQ match or a, a hardcore match or like extreme rules match or anything like that. But every once in a while, like, you know, example, when we have the pay-per-view TLC, can we have better matches besides, like, just, you know, or, like, when they're, I don't know if Extreme Rules is still a pay-per-view, but, like, the most extreme we get, I think, is, like, a tables match. I don't know. It's just stupid. And I think Extreme Rules, we need to get, they need to get, like, actually extreme. Like, they used to, I know it's PG, but you can still make it extreme without making it all bloody. You can make them do, I don't know. Just, you guys get what I mean, like, they don't even have to be jumping off the top of Hell in a Cell. Just do, like, cooler matches. That's all. Like, you know, maybe not all wrestlers are cut out for that, but get the wrestlers who are cut out for it. Example, Dean Ambrose. If you never saw the stuff he did in CCW, you need to go watch that. But, yeah, guys. So those are my top three things that I think WWE needs to change. Uh, make sure you go check out Wise Guy's channel. The link will be down below, like I said. Go subscribe, go watch his videos, smash the like button, comment down below which other WWE YouTubers uh, you want me to collab with. I'm going to be collabing with a few others, like um, Undisputed Brotherhood. Um, Mr. Punk Mel is next week's. Uh, who else am I collabing with? I think I might be doing with Deshaun Rocks 10. I'm going to ask my best friend Vince Martinez if he wants to do a collab because we definitely have to do one. He's my best friend, why wouldn't we? So yeah guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, smash the thumbs up and go check out West Guy. And I'm just kind of repeating the same stuff, but whatever. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in Monday's video. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is John Cena.